Okay, we're tying a Jeff Hickman's fish taco. Is this pink fish taco, Chris? Pink fish taco. Pink fish taco. We have a fish skull articulated shank with a pre-tied uh, stinger hook, Gamagatsu, size 2. Which we've talked about. We've done. We've we have about. a video for that if you need it. We have many videos to keep you warm and toasty on the coming winter nights. But if you're watching this in 2015, you know, maybe it's going to be summer. So, so uh, as I'm doing this, let me talk a little bit about this fly. Uh, this is kind of a cool series of flies that, that uh, Jeff Hickman developed. And uh, by the way, I'm going to use um, a saddle hackle that I have pre-selected, fuchsia. I'm going to tie this in by the tip here. And then I'm going to palmer it over a, a STS Trilobal Chanel. Well, what I'm doing that, what I want to tell you is that um, in the winter, a lot of people fish heavy sink tips and weighted flies. And that's, you know, that's cool. That's a good way to do it a lot of times. Jeff's philosophy is often to fish a little bit lighter tips and unweighted flies, as this one is. And the reasoning is as follows. Wherever we were, we're back at it now, and I'm, well, I'm pommering this hackle, but Jeff will fish um, slower sinking tips and unweighted flies and um, do quite well, thank you, even in high murky water. And so this is one of the flies he's developed. They're easy to cast, they're not weighted, um, and they fish quite nicely. Now, you could tie this without the, the strong saddle hackle, just a little less fuzzy. Uh, would work just fine, a little slimmer profile. Um, and like you said, he's tying this on just wire or yeah, cut he's chain. Yeah, he will, he'll get stainless wire, make, a, make an eye. Um, but the point is the Waddington, which you could also do it on, would have a little more weight. But that's not the plan behind this fly. You don't the, need yeah, the, the weight. The, the plan behind this fly is less weight. Yeah. Less, less is more with yeah. this fly. Yeah. So I'm going to put on some ice, ice wing. If you have worked with it before, you know all about it. If you haven't, it's kind of weird stuff. It's like this big hunk of something. It's sort of like angel hair, just not Hank. It's yeah, even weirder than angel hair. <laughs> and uh, angel hair is weird. So I got a bunch of it here, and uh, I mean, there's no magic. I'm just running my scissors through there to cut that. There's no magic formula for how much or how little to use, but there is a formula. You want this to kind of, you want this veil or to kind of reach the back of that hook. And I'm gonna kind of, before I cinch it down, kind of, can you see my fingers kind of spinning that around? The and then it, the first wrap is going to be loose. It's a little bit like spinning deer hair, but not quite the same. And I'm going to turn this over. Got a couple turns there, and I'm just going to fold this back and very just kind of. Just wad it up and put it underneath the shank. So it just kind of just think of the water flowing past this and that undulating. And then I'm going to do something similar with this pink. This is a new color, holographic flash blue. And again, no real science to this in terms of. Uh, how much to use, you can use more or less, you want it to be about the length. And I kind of put this on top and then roll it over. Pull it around the eye of the fish skull articulated shank. And so what I'm going to, it's a little bit lumpy here, and I'm going to wind on a uh, guinea feather. So I want to get this a little bit less lumpy. So I, I'm just kind of crimping it with my fingers. 
So a, a guinea is it's a beautiful feather. Comes strung. Oh, man, we got all the colors. But I tell you what, it's not my favorite feather to wrap. That's one reason. See that tore off right there? That's going to be a little bitty piece to hang on to. It also has a fairly thick center quill. And it can be very pesky to wind on. I tie them in by the tip. I'm going to try to tie it in securely enough that it doesn't slip out while I'm doing this. And I get a, a hackle plier. And this is actually a very inexpensive hackle plier, but it really grips that thing. And now I'm going to run my scissor along that hackle. And this is helping, it's, it's called folding that hackle. And that's to help it go the way you want it to go. We've got a separate video on how to fold hackle. I'm going to get this started and I'm going to try to control the direction that those fibers lay. I'm actually being fairly successful, perhaps more so than usual. And I got two turns there. And two turns is amazing. You only need one turn. If, if, if you can get one turn, you're good to go. So, so far, I'm, this is almost frightening. Chris is using hand signals to his staff in the background. I'll try to finish off this head. This is almost frightening that this fly went this well. It looked great with the ones that you showed me before you started tying it. I mean, I know, this I isn't know. your first every, rodeo here. You know, but every fly tie comes out just absolutely perfect, especially on the uh, uh, nice bright head. Uh, this is shrimp pink. You can use uh, red thread also. You, man, if you have to, you can yeah. use black. But my gosh. So here you go. Hickman's Fish Taco tied with a stinger and a fish skull articulated shank and that will track uh, the hook will ride up uh, this will cast easily fish in just the right depth and this will win it